So CJ, social experiment side chick has spoken out about the recent video that they uploading exposing a girl for basically allegedly trying to break their relationship or gold dig from them. Today I'm gonna explain everything that happened, show you- Y'all heard that shit, right? There's a ghost in my house. Today I'm gonna go through all that with the exclusive receipts, so let's Get straight into the drama. So as you guys know, everyone is in lockdown, people were bored, and two girls decide to message celebrities and YouTubers. Here's the messages that were between the two. We should be famous. I DM Soldier Boy, lol. And said what? I said, you gotta DM a YouTube dummy. Like who? Then the next day, what are you doing? Just watching a movie, what are you doing? Playing my vagina, I mean, making a taco board. Wish I had one! I just DM'd a YouTuber, trying to get this bad girlfriend. Period! DM Kari! Okay. From Common and Kari, he's always cheating! So she ends up messaging him, and she's like, I'm weak. No, you gotta do more! Send him a picture! Come do it to me! Who else? I wanna know, isn't your IG private? Yeah. Send in some selfies. What these two girls didn't know though is that Carmen and Corey were filming a social experiment on their end. According to them, Today I'm about to put somebody on blast, alright? It's gay gay, my mom! And we about to prank somebody. Nine times out of ten, we go try to see if they go try to get clout and try to go to the shade room, or is it they go just try to go for and see how far they can go, which I'm not gonna go that far with it. I know that I have a girl, all right, Team Corman over there. There's no way are uh, you go on my page, you won't, you can't tell I'm not in a relationship, all right. Now it are some females out there that just don't care, they don't have no respect. And you know, I just typically, you know, it just, it's just some type of female. And there's a lot of guys that are like that. They don't have no respect from another uh, man or whatever. You know. And make sure to subscribe to Martin Lewis with the notification on. And get this video five stars on live. From the sounds of the video, they always get a lot of messages from weird profiles. Um, I normally see some other one, but this is the first one I, I see, so I'm going to use this one. We're going to check this one. Profiles with not a lot of posts of girls trying to basically hit up Corey. I seen some yesterday, and I had laugh, and I told Carm, I said, man, we need to do a video and expose these people and show people what we have an idea. So I guess they decided they were going to do a social experiment. Page right here, her chart. 736 followers, no pictures as you guys can see. Wait a minute, y'all see they have no pictures, zero posts. And they text me, they say, hi, don't have no pictures because I delete them all, LOL. Now, we're going to check this and we're going to see what's going on. I mean, and Carmen finna try to see, try to expose me or oh, what? We want to just, we just try to flirt me. Okay. Oh wait, I'm gonna be like, you know, I got a girl. We're gonna make it very interesting. So this gonna be a very interesting video. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just set the camera up and I'm gonna scream and record the messages, okay? So Carmen and Corey are sitting together doing this social experiment thing that doesn't even make sense, and they end up messaging her eyes. What's up? It's in your eye emojis. Oh, you done? Eye emojis. Yeah. All right, eye emojis. Because she basically, you know, like this picture. picture. So I'm gonna picture somebody. I'm like, boom. I'm gonna it's yeah. in the eye emojis. Now Sean ends up taking a screenshot and sharing it with her friend. Told you! <laughs> Here's the plan. You message him no money talk and we'll sell the screenshots <laughs> to the shade room teens. Give me your fucking money! <laughs> what do I say? What you say before? Uh-huh. I knew these YouTube ends is just like any other dummy. And damn were you wrong. I am the weak. Send him one. Treat him like a trick. Are you in a one you say to them? <laughs> who? Right here. Somebody said. She sent a picture? She what the hell? Who is that? Oh, she typing. She typing. Just so you don't think I'm a catfish. What's the profile look like? She sent a profile picture? Yeah, right there. I know that, but that's a different profile picture. So, what you, what you text her? What's up?
no, I just, it just, it just, it just, oh, no, man, weird. I feel weird you doing like, like, part of me don't want to do it, but I'm just doing it for a video just to show y'all like this. Okay, so they end up sending messages back and forward towards each other. From the looks of it, she's trying to flirt with him, try to get some tea to sell to the Shade Room teens. During the video, Corey and Carmen discuss what they're gonna call the video. Maybe they forgot to ed edit this out. Kind of like, like a gold digger type of video, but this is just the room because you're going through messages and not like, actually like in public to expose I'm gonna call people. it gold digger, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... Just expose females that text Oh man, there's a relationship like And you thing. know, now I understand you. Carmen ends up talking about if the girl has respect or not. So it really goes to show, does she have respect? Or you just no respect at all? Or is she just gonna hit you with? She probably gonna be smooth with it, and she just gonna try to like keep texting you and letting you know that, like, Oh yeah, but it's nothing like that, isn't that? But you still gonna want to keep coming. Yeah, they gonna show y'all. It's really funny seeing their perception of this. This girl's trying to get money. They think she's trying to tear up a marriage or whatever. She wants you. She said, like right. that. That's I want, she, yeah, she said, I want to see, I want to get to know you and see where things would lead. So not just for anything that happened. So she's not really thinking, okay, now what if his wife, girl, whatever, find out. But like, that don't make sense. Like they, females, when they talk, when they in this position, they don't want to talk so smooth. It just makes it seem like, oh, exactly. I'm not that type of she still, Cause low key in this message, she's still trying to go forward. Exactly. Like, she like she she still trying to put it like what we but she trying to make it. Right, so after this video end up getting released, Shah's sister and this is how we heard about this end up messaging us. Some drama is about to happen. And this is what she said. Hey, so my sister got exposed on Carmen and Corey's YouTube video, and I have screenshots as well, but I just thought that was a childish of them to expose my sister, and she's getting so much hate, and it's not just affecting her, it's also affecting our family, but I just want to get it out there so people know her side of the story, can provide more information as well, thanks. Look, at the end of the day, I'm going to call your sister out too, okay? I ain't going to be no Superman in the cape today. Your sister was money hungry as F, and she she wanted to trick someone to sell those screenshots to the teen shade room. The consequences of her actions of doing something like that is this. It is what it is. I'm gonna let it play out. I can't do anything. She should have not been doing that. Her side of the story was her and her friend was making a joke to see if Kari would actually answer her. When he started texting back, she was confused because he had a wife but she went along with it like any other female would. Joke, huh? Very interesting. A joke that had some monetization gain from it. Her intent was it being a joke. My sister was just about wondering why he had to expose her when he could have exposed the girls that he actually cheated on with Carmen. I believe he actually has. If you go watch my old previous videos, guys, you will see that Carmen or Corey did try to, I don't know if he tried to cover his tracks or if he admitted it, but I believe he did. Now, you'd think she would take the L and move on. She'd be like, okay, I did something. I was trying to get some money out of it and it all backfired in my face. I'm gonna walk away from this situation. No, this girl legit opens a YouTube account, uploads a video, and puts herself in a deeper hole. Roll it. From Jump, me and my friend were actually- Oh my gosh, she's a catfish. Actually texting each other, going back and forth. And we were bored and we were just saying like, I wonder if we like try to DM a YouTuber, like would they reply? Like it was literally for shits and giggles between me and my friend. Like, does nobody want him? No one was serious. Cause you bitches is fat. Anyway, she ends up saying that Carmen knew that her messages towards Corey was a joke because she DM'd her. I just think it's crazy to me because Carmen knew that me messaging him was a joke because she actually DM'd me. Not focusing, but. So Carmen's basically sharing the video and she says shaking my head not when this was a prank on you guys Effing weak show me where your prank just to me you don't have respect for yourself and the story Deadass I'm over here crying laughing me and my friend were doing a prank on YouTube to see if they would even reply Girl don't nobody want him or looking to ruin anything Lol carry on Emo okay I'll wait on y'all video We're not YouTubers though we was literally just looking for a laugh to see who would answer and who wouldn't Lol weak And she blocked me Good night bitch so now I'm just like, 
Oh, so she's looking for me to make a video back to her. Like, she wants me to go back and forth with her. Like, after I just told you it was a joke. Like, I, I don't get it. So then... Okay, so this is where the mix-up is. You said it was a prank. So, Carmen, being a YouTuber who makes prank videos, must have thought, okay, she's doing a, a prank video. That's what she would have thought. And now you think that she wants you to do, you know, go back and forward with her, which is not the case. Because she said it was a prank. Carmen must have thought, oh, okay, we'll wait for this video since it was a prank. And I think that's what she meant. I got my friend to message her, and I'll read you their messages. You had the intent to record and to upload with no consent to embarrass and humiliate her, which is illegal. You both get what you deserve, pandemic or not. She's contacted a lawyer. Oh my God, she threatened me. Okay, this is what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna play victim after we try to trick a boy so we can sell it to the shade room and make some money, but it backfired on your asses. You gotta take the L. Take the f***ing L. Take it, swallow it, lick it. That's what happened. Y'all motherfuckers got busted for trying to do some lame ass shit. Trying to make some money. Trying to get some cheese. Look, that's fine. We have lawyers and managers too. We didn't expose names, dog. Yeah, but you have her face. Name or no name her face. On Instagram, about to be YouTube. All I'm saying is if a video is posted with her face, she will take legal action. Oh no. Yeah, damn catfish face. How's that gonna work? <laughs> uh, now for real, like the photos don't really look like her. You know what I'm saying? A little bit, but not a lot. I'm just saying the court's gonna be like, say what? You guys legit had the intent to record while responding. That shows motive. You can go to jail, baby girl. Tell your managers and lawyers that you guys had motives too. What the f She's fine with the video. Everyone where we're from it doesn't know you guys. And then she blocked my friend. Shaw continues to play the victim. I did not care if they uploaded the video for their fans, for likes, for views, for money, for whatever. But the least you could have done was block my name and my photo out of it. Especially if I came to you myself and said, like, this was literally a joke. Like, it's not a big deal. And I literally told her. Like I know what you I know you guys are YouTubers like go ahead post the video for likes but at least crop my name out like it wasn't that it wasn't that deep. And they actually did try to do it. If you go back to the video, you will realize there's blur sections, right? I know because this happens to me. So it's actually not Carmen and Corey's fault. It's YouTube's fault. Legit, it really is. Because I this has happened to me. Someone had pri uh, claimed privacy complaint. So I blur out that area, but it doesn't stick there. It like goes somewhere else. The blur was going on Corey's face. Corey was like, basically what I got from the video was they made this video in case I went to the shade room. They wanted something to back like their end of the story up. Now, I understand where she's coming from, and I can imagine a lot of people would think that. But to prove that fact wrong, because even I was thinking maybe they did this just to cover up. They did show the first time they messaged her with the eyes. So there's no reason for him to message her behind the scenes and they're, oh, let's quickly make a video because she, um, um, she might end up exposing me. Because he showed the first time he messaged her. Now... We all know you can unsend messages, and that could be a possibility. Maybe he unsent the eyes and sent it again in this video to make it look like it was for the video. But you have no evidence to back that up. So without evidence, this is a theory that you have came up with. Plus, there's no other messages. Like, why would they go, oh, I sent her eyes. She's gonna show Shade Teen Room that I showed her eyes. Wow, what a big deal. Like, really? No. No, 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 no. So this tells me the whole time it was a social experiment. Plus, you weren't the only one that they did this to. It looks like they did this to most hated Rissa, which looks like another strange troll type of account. So it makes sense why they would have messaged her as well. It just, they just happened to do it with you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make this video to tell you guys my side of the story it was literally a joke. Um, she knew before she uploaded the video that it was a joke. And I literally told her, hey, like, post a video. Like, I don't care, like, you're a YouTuber, you can post a video. But at least just crop my name out. Like, it wasn't that serious. And she was like, no. Have a blessed day. 
So I just wanted to make the video an off. Nah, I believe they had it scheduled because they already had the screenshot and it was in the post, which tells me they probably had the video scheduled. I could be wrong, but regardless, let's say that's I'm wrong and you're right. They knew you had the joke before they posted the video. That part that you were meant to be blurred out did not work. So that's YouTube's fault. And no, I'm not putting her name on Instagram because I don't want her to get no hate or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to respect her privacy or whatever. But I just did this video just to show y'all that, you know. Yeah. Nah, because you made that favor because you can, you can really get sued for this <laughs> Facts. I know that. So, I'm just making this video just to show y'all like how females really are, man. It just... You know what I'm saying? It, it don't make no sense, bro. You know, y'all y'all be doing the most. Okay, so my conclusion is that Sha and her friend were obviously trying to get something, trying to be famous or some ish, then try to make some money by tricking boys like Corey to respond to her, sell it to the team rooms, and get some coins. This is something that Sha fails to mention in her video. She says it's a joke, but clearly is monetary gain in this as well even if, let's say, it was a joke. Sha and Carmen and Corey had their perceptions of why they thought people were messaging each other. Carmen and Corey thought that she is a gold, well, she did want to make money. China, like, has no respect, try to break their marriage. I feel like Sha and her friend tried to basically scare Carmen and Corey to submit to take a video down because of their actions. These are the reactions and the consequences of your actions and what you did. Honestly, if I was you guys, I would take the L and move on. You f***ed up, you try to make some money out of people, and it didn't work in your favor. Yes, Carmen and Corey's perception was wrong that you were, I guess, a gold digger when you did try to make money out of it. So I guess you were a hustler. That's how I see it as. You try to take advantage of what you thought was a damaged marriage when it clearly isn't anymore. It's, it looks to me that Carmen and Corey are very strong. You try to take advantage of the situation so they can make some money and they weren't able to and now you get blasted for trying to do so. Oh, now people are going to see this video and going to actually know the behind scoop because Carmen and Corey don't even know this. Carmen and Corey don't know your real intent until now, until your sister messaged my team and sent that video which she guessed she accidentally, I don't know, maybe that was intentionally or not intentionally to show that you try to do this to get some money. <sighs> so yes, yeah, Shah basically tried to make some money. She was not interested in Corey. She just wanted to make some money and this was her way of doing so. Anyway guys, what do you think though about this whole situation? Let's get the discussion popping in the comment section below. I'm honestly going to read through this because this is going to be interesting. What's your opinion? What's your thoughts? Make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you guys get notified every time I upload a new drama video. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and I'll see you guys in another drama video.